Hello, my name is Brandon Stamper, and I'm an assistant professor at Pacific University School of Pharmacy in Oregon. My latest publication in GRSB is entitled, P53 Contributes to Differentiating Gene Expression Following Exposure to Acetaminophen and Its Less Hepatotoxic Regioisomer, both in vitro and in vivo. Acetaminophen, which I will refer to as APAP, is a popular medication worldwide. Unfortunately, APAP overdose is the leading cause of acute liver failure both in the United States and the United Kingdom. Many factors are known to contribute to APAP-induced liver injury, such as the formation of protein addicts and mitochondrial toxicity. And although a great deal is understood regarding the underlying mechanisms leading to cell death, the involvement of specific intracellular signaling pathways continues to be investigated and debated. The work outlined in this manuscript provides a comprehensive analysis of transcriptomic data derived from both in vitro and in vivo systems treated with toxicologically relevant doses of APAP. These data are compared against gene expression changes induced by equivalent AMAP dosing. AMAP, also known as 3-hydroxy acid analyte, is a relatively non-toxic positional isomer of APAP. Comparisons between APAP and AMAP are incredibly useful as they can be used to discriminate between changes related to the structure-based pharmacologic activity of hydroxy acid analytes and those that are related to toxicity. The data sets presented in this manuscript were generated using two different model systems across three different microarray platforms. Despite the model and platform-based diversity employed by the study, a shared transcriptomic profile was detected. Ten transcripts were identified by multiple arrays as differentially expressed following APAP and AMAP treatments. These included ATF3, BTG2, CDKN1A, or P21, EGR1, GDF15, June, LIF, MDM2, MID116, and PLK3. Interestingly, all 10 transcripts are associated with P53 signaling, with 9 of 10 being associated with activation. This APAP-induced transcriptional activation associated with P53 was substantiated by protein immunoblotting, which confirmed increased phosphorylation at serine residues in both the N and C termini of P53. Taken together, the results from this manuscript implicate a contributory role for P53 in the toxicogenomic response to APAP overdose and shed light on our understanding of the cell death mechanisms during APAP-induced injury. Thanks for listening and enjoy the paper.